Hello, and welcome to Rookie Mazda. We are here because we are at Virginia International Raceway. I don't normally record my Mazda races in the Rookie Mazda series, even though I do them about every week, because the schedule gets a little repetitive, and I don't need, <laughs> you know, Mazda at Oren Park 30 times on the channel. That gets redundant. But Virginia's new. And I don't believe I've actually raced the rookie Mazdas here yet uh, and recorded it. In fact, I'm still pretty new to this track in general. So I've been spending some time learning how to drive this car here and learning this track a little bit more. This is actually a different layout as well. It is the north layout. I think that's what it said it was, right? The northern layout or something like that? I'll double check that before the race so I'm not giving out false information, but um, it is a shorter layout than the full course. And uh, that also was new to me, that's brand new to me. So done some practice, did actually a practice race where I could fully focus and not have to worry about talking during the race and it was really fun actually, it was a great race. I ended up winning that race, actually, which was pretty awesome. The first time I uh, do an official race at this track's layout, or this layout of this track. First time I tried this combo, too, and uh, it went really well. So that's pretty darn cool. It was a great, like, four-car battle. Um, there was someone that was faster than me that but made a mistake. And that's what made it possible. And then I made a couple of mistakes too. I did like a half self spin at one point. And uh, at another point, what else did I do? Oh yeah, I got myself a slowdown and nearly wrecked worse at another point. So it was pretty lucky that Green my mistakes flag. didn't flag. cause more problems, but it made it so that uh, I had to fall back, crawl back again. And it was quite the race. Had some exciting passes, and I'm kind of bummed that I didn't record that one. Because it was really good, but maybe this one will be pretty good too. Right now I'm just getting up to getting up to speed. Tires aren't quite heated up yet, so can't go as fast as I necessarily want to. But still gonna try to get a solid lap in here. Whoa, yeah, that's really, really loose after shifting. Kind of kicked sideways on me there. I shifted down just a little too early and it wasn't happy about it. But my all-time best is a 37.0. Would love to try to get into the 36s, but we'll see about that. This corner is really cool. I actually really like it because you can carry so much more speed through there than you think. Because it's uphill, so you can like get on the gas and really go through there quickly. Much quicker than you think you can at first glance. So that's some good fun. That corner is really tough. The whole like last couple of corners are super tough, especially this one. This one's dangerous, man. You really got to be gentle on the brake and then uh, be very careful when getting on throttle or you can go wide. And the thing about this place is if you go off track, you've uh, got about an acre and a half of sliding through the grass to do. So. You do not want to end up off course. P3. So that is something to watch for. I'm pretty happy with that for first lap. Overdrove turn one there a little. I don't know. I don't really expect to win again because the other race was a little bit of a lower strength of field. I don't remember what this one was. 2.6. I just remembered. I have race labs to tell me that. Um, I didn't remember how many people signed up is what I was trying to say, but apparently enough to give ourselves a 2.6, which isn't that bad. It's a late night, but road racing, of course, is very international, so it doesn't really matter as much what time you're racing. Mm, kind of gotten on the throttle a little quicker there, but still was a pretty good, pretty good run through there. 
This section's a lot of fun. You can almost flat foot it, and when your tires are up to temp, you kind of can if you get the angles just right. I've kind of decided I think I want to keep it in second gear through there. I think that works better, and it doesn't get as unsettled. Ooh, that was sketchy. Got a little sideways, but it worked out. This is going to be... My first ever 36, I think. All right, pulling it out and qualifying. Heck yeah. Tires were feeling good up there. The leader was just done Got well into the 36s. All right. It didn't help my position at all. <laughs> I went from sixth to sixth. Well, if uh, that's not proving I'm not gonna win this race, I don't know what will. I get my best lap and I'm not even getting any spots. But that's okay. Uh, this track, pretty fun. It's grown on me. I had a lot of trouble learning this place. I, rode, I raced the uh, new Toyota GR86 here. Uh, when that was first out, on like the week 13 or whatever. You know, I was struggling hard, but of course that was a brand new car and a brand new track at the same time. So that's going to be a tough challenge every time for me. But I struggled a little bit, and then I uh, had to spend a good bit of time practicing here to kind of start getting the hang of this. But now that I'm kind of getting my road racing feet under me, I guess, I'm having a fun time with it. Just got to make sure I don't overdrive that. See, that's tricky, because... Okay, don't go first. Um, that's tricky, because... I think uh, it might be faster if I go through their second gear, but I gotta make sure I uh, actually make the turn, too. And shifting into first does help me get turned. But I think the fastest way through would be to carry enough speed to keep it in second gear. So we'll see. We'll see how I feel during the race. If we're all stuck in a pack or something anyway, I'll probably want... First gear regardless, because I'll be a little slower through there. But first and foremost, I have to survive. Like I said, if you go off track here, you are in uh, loser town. <laughs> Which is uh, population me, usually. But don't want to be going off course. What's the top time? Almost a 35, wow. Almost a 35. Uh, a long track like this means a lot of extra variance, typically, in the lap times. So, hitting a corner better means greater gains, I guess. There's lots of places to lose little bits of time, and that's why you can see more spread out time. Wow, I wasn't even that good. <laughs> I hit an all-time best, and I only beat three people. I'm going to have my work cut out for me here. Even as the number two, that means nothing. There's probably still 11 people faster than me in here, but... We will give it our best! Just like we did for qualifying, hitting an all-time best. The scariest part of the race is definitely... on these cold tires. Ever since they kind of did an update on the Mazda, it's the same thing Nick was talking about in one of his recent videos, The uh, when he did the Toyota at Sakuba, He briefly mentioned the Mazda and how it feels so on the nose now, he said, and um, can't figure it out. He's, it's kind of turned him away from it. Um, I, I definitely feel what he's talking about. It's only... It, it almost feels like uh, they've taken the fixed basic Mazda setup and turned it into one of the more advanced setups. At least on the cold tires. Because it's very much less forgiving than it used to be. And so you have to be very careful. It kind of gets the grip back over time once the tires heat up. But it's definitely a little sketchier, so... I, uh, I'm very thankful that I had some experience with open setup Mazda 
with a tiny bit of advanced Mazda and a lot more of the production car challenge whenever I would run that in the advanced setups. Because that experience I had with that helps with how the car just drives in general now. So, enough babbling, we've got racing to do. I felt like we were on the red light for an hour and a half. I know they vary the times, don't they? Unless it's all in my head, but I think they vary the times until launch. Everyone being protective. Okay. Right side. Keep to the left. Clear on the right. Just trying to be gentle for now. Don't like this guy diving it in on me on lap there, one, line. nearly taking me out. Don't appreciate that. Keep to the right. Clear. All right, Colton. Decent start. You can build something from here. I wish he would get away from me. He's bump drafting me now. That's very annoying. What is his problem? He's literally pushing me into the corner. All right. Clear. Dude, what is your problem? You push me into the corner and then you, and then you just, oh my god, and then you just take me out. What is your problem, man? Freaking loser! Must have dominoes on the way. That was freaking stupid. You got a slow car on the right. Yellow flag. Go left. Oh my god. Well, we're gonna try to recover now, I guess. Freaking moron can't wait one lap. Or even a couple of corners, I guess. Alright, goal of the race now is go catch that freaking joker. Probably won't even need to. He'll probably find him a mile off into the grass later. Well, that's annoying. Shoves me in the corner so I go wide and then gives me no room to deal with it. Like, what do you expect me to do? I guess I just have to get out of his way. Wide there. Fine. I'm freaking pissed. What an asshole. Well, there's still plenty of chance for people to go off track and such, so... Like me, apparently. Right side. Clear right, right, seeing me driving like an idiot. Get out of my way. Nice one, Colton. Great move. Keep it up. I'm driving angry now, though. <laughs> Probably just gonna end up with me off the road, but... Yep, driving angry. I don't even remember what I was talking about before all that now. Just completely derailed all my thoughts. They're miles away, I'm never catching him. Unless he makes a mistake. That sucks. Just gonna go ahead and ruin my race, I guess, is all he's doing. Kind of getting slideways there. I had to be careful with my shifting. They're still not perfect, but they are starting to get where I like them. I think we should be able to catch these two guys. Was it the 7 or the 6 that killed me? I'll be able to recognize his paint scheme, I guess. I'm not going to retaliate or anything dumb like that, but I want to beat him now, because he screwed over my race. <sighs> I'm 
Not even allowed to get one lap in. Got a little understeery there, so I shifted to first. Fastest lap for McLeod, 135.64. Well, this is going to be uh, an all-time best, thanks to draft. Does I don't think it counts. Uh, it doesn't stick unless uh, or during a race, because I think that of the draft they don't let it log into your all-time optimals or all-time bests or whatever. So even though I got a 136.4, I don't think it'll actually be there in the future. be uh, careful about how we choose to get around these guys. Smart about it. really slow through here. Gotta be very careful, break early for them here. Pretty big breaking zone, so I don't want to run on the back of them. Should be able to get past them with draft now. Room. I thought I heard him get off in the grass there. Keep to the left. Clear on the right. Okay, back side. Good pass. Don't get sideways easy now. Getting a little throttle happy. That's another thing that I swear wasn't really the case on the fixed setup in the past. Do you have to be a little careful on throttle now? Wasn't really so much of a thing in Rookie Mazda. For the updates. Talking about the updates like they're new. <laughs> it happened a while ago. But it was just a, a recent thing that was talked about. So it's fresh in my mind. I still enjoy the Mazda. I'm up. I'm, uh, I'm interested in the challenge of a tougher driving race car. Waiting on him. Make him overdrive it, I guess. Not very many places to pass here. I guess unless you're a lunatic. Alright, right, got a big run on him. Still there. I'm gonna take it and maybe even clear him before we get to the quarter. Okay, pushing me. Guess he wasn't happy with how much room I was giving him. More contact if, as if I didn't give him enough room. He's gonna fight for it, I guess. Despite I, the fact I caught him by a mile and a half. Yeah, he's going off. Left side. Keep to the right. Stay on the right. Annoying. Wasting both of our time. Clear, Hold your line. Clear on the left. Okay, get by him. Awesome. Well done. It's very satisfying when you finally are able to pass here, though, I will say that. Mm -hmm. 
I've, I have avoided major catastrophe so far. I say, almost ruining that corner. Eight plus seconds ahead, though. We're never going to catch any of those guys. Unfortunately, we just got wrecked. And uh, they have not made any major mistakes, I guess. Got stuck. We also got stuck back having to fight a little bit. Almost shifted too early there. That would have been bad. Guy behind goes off, so really worth it that he battled us and wasted our time. Heart turns so well when you're off throttle. Just rolling the corners, it turns so well. Always a lot of fun to drive. Really enjoy driving the Mazda. You're there pretty good. Point in the run where you can full throttle these. Didn't quite get the second part of it down, but that's enough. There's enough room to make it work still. Still not entirely sure if I like first or second gear through there. Tried first gear there. I don't know. It was height. <laughs> We're gaining on the guy ahead, but I doubt we'll have enough time. It's actually a pretty darn long race here. Minute and a half laps, and uh... Don't go without me calling. <laughs> this is not what I planned for us. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let me not, uh... <laughs> oh, when you make a mistake, I make one worse one. <laughs> yeah, I should be focusing. <laughs> I should be focusing instead of making jokes. That's his plan. <laughs> it's distracting me with friendly conversation. That's fine, though. I don't think we're catching anybody ahead. I think we're pretty comfortably here. A little shallow up the hill that time. Didn't quite get as much of a, a run through there as I would normally like. I almost like second gear through there, even if it isn't as fast as first gear, just because it's much more stable. Maybe I could be more consistent with that. You can see how unsettled it gets through there, too. That was not a very good way to take that, but... <sighs> so if it was the six that wrecked me, he's now winning, which is my least favorite thing. And if it was the seven, we're going to finish directly behind him. Is it is either the six or the seven? That's all I know. Man, I, I'm overdriving uh, turn one now. Even if I'm not participating in chat. It's trying to get too much, I guess. Through turn one and it's just hurting me. Such a fun corner. I like that corner a lot. And it's not in the normal layout. I think that's unique to this layout, if I'm not mistaken. Something about it I just really like. Oh, that wasn't good. I overdrove the entry to that corner. I'm trying to get too fancy. I really just gotta take it easy. Hit my marks. 
not worrying about being faster than I can be. At least we're P6, that's not the worst. I mean, that's where we started, isn't it? It's P6, so maybe that's where I was going to finish all along. It's late getting back to throttle there. I'm just not hitting my marks in turn one anymore. Probably the best I've ever gotten through there. Best I've gotten through there, though. Not seeing any mistakes up ahead. That's too bad if I wanted freebies. The curb there. You can kind of do that though if you're not, you don't overdo it. It's now easy now. <laughs> Still trying to get too much despite my own warnings to myself. Or I got unsettled again right there. <sighs> Just not working out. I only got a 2x at least. Didn't get a 4x. Okay, go by yourself. You're gonna need it someday. That's what my ex-wife said. Not falling for the tricks, so I'm gonna wreck if I start making jokes. <laughs> I really don't wanna overtake you. I wanna use your drop. <laughs> Stay away from the prankster back there. <laughs> He's a bad influence. He just wants me to go off into the grass. This really is it. There aren't really any great spots to start talking on the mic here. I mean, there's the front straightaway, but even that's like... Yeah, it's got like a curve in it halfway through. Well, this suddenly uh, got very lonely out here. Not really racing anyone anymore. It's too bad. I would have liked to see what we might have been able to do up there. I think we probably would have been between the 5 and the 7, maybe. Maybe fighting with the 7. That was not great through there. Oh, he's catching me behind. I better pick up the pace. He's gonna get into my draft. Oh, there's a freebie coming up. Go right. It's my friend. <laughs> I don't feel sorry for you. So it was the seven. I apologize to the six if I falsely accused them. It was the seven all along. Because seven, eight, nine or something. Funny elementary school joke. Well, we're gonna find out if we are faster than the seven now, assuming they're not broken in any way. We'll see if we can keep this spot.
and subsequently I'll let you get between us wood wood <laughs> and subsequently this is terrific exactly find out if we can get ourselves a top five Ooh, very slighty. I stink in turn one, man. I guess I'm just overdriving it, but... I swear if the 7 comes up and wrecks me again, I might not be able to upload this video. I'll be yelling expletives so loud. <laughs> Hopefully not on Mike. I need to be better about that. Doesn't serve anything to uh, be yelling on Mike. Even if he deserves it. The stewards have warned us for cutting the. Oh, why did I go to first gear there? I'm a lunatic. Anyway, I held on to it. Very unsettled, though. And I got an off-track. Which... I don't know if I agree with that one, I racing. That was pretty borderline, but fine. That's fine. It's only 3x. Been pretty good about keeping it on track so far. That's just my first 1x. Two to go. What if I choose not to overdrive turn one for once? How does that feel? I mean, I kind of underdrove it, but it was still better than last lap, for example. So I guess that's progress. Wow, he's much faster through the first sector than I am. Apparently I'm losing a lot of time through here. I have to work to keep this spot. Oh god, is he gonna come be a repeat offender and wreck me again? I think he's actually faster than me, potentially. There's some, some sectors I'm a little faster, but... He's definitely much faster in other sectors. One flag, one more lap to go. Just gotta hold him off for one more lap though. Got through there alright. He's gonna have draft though, and that's not great. Thankfully I think turn one's probably one of the better passing opportunities and he's not going to be here for that unless he really wants to show how great a driver he is and dive bomb me from 20 car lengths back oh my god I hit turn one. Oh my god look everybody I'm still slower than he is through here but that was probably the best I've ever taken turn one <laughs> uh, and then I overdrove that part that's okay, because I was halfway decent in turn one. I'm putting that on the fridge. Along with my at least you tried stickers. Oh, I really pushed it through there and got a little sideways. We're good though. I really don't want this guy anywhere near me, because uh, we saw what happens when he decides he uh, doesn't want to wait for you. One big hurdle left, it's this corner, nailed it. You might push me down, but I will pass you again. Uh, something, I just said something cool there. Pretend I just said something cool. P5. 
Five. Your race could win. Ticket flag. Ticket flag. Great job. Really well. Well. Did not work <laughs> out. <laughs> hey, good run though. It's fun racing with you. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that guy that was in front of us was dangerous. He was defending way too hard. <laughs> He's nice. Unlike someone, no, I'm just gonna just piling it on on them. It didn't hurt us all that bad. I mean, we obviously didn't get a chance to keep up with the first couple guys. Watch, it's not even the seven. Watch, it was like actually the six this whole time. We weren't able to like kind of keep up with the front guys, but I don't know if I was ever gonna be able to do that anyway. I think they were a step above, and uh, we ended up finishing ahead of them anyway. So honestly, I think this is probably about where I would have finished regardless. Probably about P5. I don't know if I would have been able to keep up with these guys. So, uh, in the end, no harm done, I guess. Other than the 2x, we give ourselves a 1x. But 3x at the end is still not even bad. So, everything turned out better than expected. Let's take a look at our incident and others. What happened in the beginning, <laughs> I just got pushed into a corner and then got probably too angry about it. <laughs> I thought you said my name for a moment there, but I, I didn't do anything, so I was confused. <laughs> yeah, no, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Check out lap seven. Turn one. He just takes me out. <laughs> Left seven. We'll see what happened. Left seven. So yeah, he just straight up just took me out like twice. He's like bump drafting me down the straight. It makes me enter harder than I want to. And then uh, decides to just come up here. I'm ba I'm already in the grass, and then he comes and takes me out. Like what? No apology, of course, because he's not sorry. I guess. Car head of the eight gets off in the grass, and then they're just all running into him. Lap seven is check out what he was talking about while we have the time. Lap seven. What are we looking for? Is he talking about this guy defending? Ooh, yeah. Defending too hard. <laughs> That must have been what he was talking about. Unless something else happened. Guy defending uh, just a little too hard and ends up off the course. Yeah, that's what he was, ta that's what he was talking about. Right, back to your regularly scheduled incidents. I'm not sure if we would have seen that. Sometimes the uh, off tracks don't show up. Got Yoshi uh, getting into the wall there. <laughs> that's so bad. What did he do that for? Why did he do this? Like, I am literally, literally, my left sides are in the grass, and he still comes up and gets me. Like, what do you want from me? He just shoves his way through. But, I definitely did not need to be that angry about it. It's just road rage. I get to embarrass myself by being like, what the bleep are you bleeping? Ooh, getting loose on throttle there is the 12. That's a nice, colorful car, though. Just showing the crowd all sides of it. And a little bit more. Ooh. He looked like he just committed to the spin at that point. Decided he was going to take a bite out of some tires. I think his car's broken now, too. Oh, that's some sweet karma. The same corner. Ah, uh, yes. Take forever. Just get started. Allow me to catch up. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm horrible. So this guy's just blinking a little bit. Oh, no. 12, not again. You just got a new car. This is a tough track, though. This is exactly what... Oh, wow. Look at that. P2. So far ahead that this was after the race, and it didn't matter. <laughs> I thought that was during the race, and I'm like, wow, he's so far ahead, he still got second. No, <laughs> that was after the race was over. 
And uh, still some people finishing. And uh, just killing their engine. I don't know if everyone has finished at that point. That's going to count against him. Probably. But that's fine. We got a nice view of a gazebo here. And we pulled into a P5. We'll lose about 6 I rating, estimated. But that's okay. We move forward one spot. And even after uh, kind of getting shoved out of the way, still pulled it together, finished where we were probably going to anyway. And it feels even better now because I got vengeance. <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed that journey. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that'll do it. Appreciate you. Hope you have a good one, and I'll see you next time.